Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I'm happy to introduce a new state-of-the-art model called Nova. Uh, Nova has been built by RC starting from Quen2 and improved with merging and fine-tuning. And at the time of recording, it sits at the top of the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard. Okay, let's get started. Nova was literally released yesterday and here's the, the blog post announcing it. And it's got a few details on the, on the model itself. And what I think is really interesting is um, the performance for that model, right? And what you see here is basically a screenshot of the Hugging Face leaderboard. And here's the live version. And we can see the, the models at the top are still the same. Uh, this Quen 272B instruct another one, an Orca Mini, and Llama 370B, right? So I think nothing really changed overnight. Uh, we still see the same here. And we see RC Nova evaluated on those same benchmarks, right? Like Big Bench Hard and the Math Benchmark and um, the Multi-Step Reasoning Benchmark on which it is doing quite well, MMLU, etc. And if we average on those, which is the default setting for the LLM leaderboard, well, Nova is uh, the best at the moment, right? So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and obviously you can find the model on the Hugging Face website, right? Uh, you have the, the vanilla model and you have uh, GGUF versions quantized in different uh, resolutions. And of course, I'm, I'm gonna be working with that. So let's give Nova a spin. And just for simplicity, I will work with one of those quantized versions and I will run that stuff on my Mac. So it is a big model. It is a 72 billion parameter model. So um, I think even the 8-bit version is, uh, is out of the question. And I've decided to go with a 3-bit version. And uh, I actually used a Q3KS flavor, right? So 3-bit quantized version. And this comes in eight different chunks, right? Each one is a little more than uh, four gigs. So uh, you want to download all of those. And then once you've downloaded those uh, eight shards, um, you can uh, stitch them back together and run them in uh, Olama, right? Well, funny enough, I couldn't get the model to work uh, with uh, Lama CPP this time, but I'm running the, the bleeding edge version of Lama CPP. So maybe something's uh, broken at the wrong time. Uh, I, I would assume uh, the model to work, Quen2 is supposed to be working on Lama CPP. So, so we'll use Olama this time. Okay, so let me show you how. So first of all, of course, you should install uh, Olama, which is super simple. Just go to the repo, they have instructions. Um, and then, of course, we need to create an environment for our model. So um, uh, here's how you would merge the shards, right? Uh, I've done this with the Llama GGUF split utility in the Llama CPP repo, right? So even though it's called split, it's got an option called merge uh, where you pass the first shard and then the name of the of the full size model you wanna you wanna build, right? And it runs for a minute or two, and then you get your you get your full size model, right? And yeah, it's kind of big. Okay, it's thirty two gigs, even though it is quantized to three bits. Okay, uh, so then we need to uh, create um, an environment in Olama for this. So it's the simplest thing. We just need a one line uh, config file from with the name of the model itself, right? And I'll include all of that in the video description. So no worries there. So with this model file, we'll be able to create the uh, environment. We use the create command, very simple. Pass the name of uh, the model you want to create and then the config file, which is saw, right? So I run this before, takes a few minutes and then you can go all on my list and you see your model has been created, right? And now we can just run it, okay? 
and it takes a minute to, to load. And uh, once we have a prompt, we'll start testing that RC Nova model. Oh, here it is. That was fast. Okay, great. Okay, so um, let's find out a little bit about that model. And that will give us a sense of the speed as well. Okay, so we can see this is based on Gwen, right? And well, the speed is not that bad at all, right? It's certainly generating faster than I can read, so that's uh, <laughs> that's always good. Um, and then let's ask a few more things. Right? So, what are your guidelines? Oh, no harmful, illegal content. All right. No controversial issues. Okay, that's interesting. No violent activities. Okay, so I guess we'll stick to uh, to legal friendly activities. Okay. Um, so why don't we try maybe a prompt we tried yesterday on, on the uh, on the scribe model. I don't know if you watched that one, but it's a, it's a model for uh, creative writing. So uh, let's try this one again. Write a marketing speech for a SaaS AI platform called RC Cloud, except, okay, let's see how that works. And obviously this is a large model. This is a much larger model than Scribe. So uh, it should be able to do a whole bunch of different things, uh, not just creative writing, but uh, as we will see later in the demo, it's it's quite good at uh, multi-step multi reasoning. So this is really an interesting model. All right, so it is generating. It's using emojis, right? And again, the, the speed is, uh, is more than adequate. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, they, it's got a motto for RC Cloud. Yeah, I should <laughs> send that to my colleagues. Okay, that's funny. I love how creative those models are. Uh, okay, so let's try something harder. Um, if we look at the benchmarks again, um, we see, uh, well, this model is good at a bunch of things, um, but it looks to be pretty good at this MUSR uh, benchmark, which stands for multi-step reasoning, right? So I'm curious because it is quite better than the other Quen to 72B model, so something in the merge or something in a fine tuning really, really made it better at, at that. So let's go and look at this um, benchmark, the data set behind it, and take uh, maybe an example out of there. So as you would expect, the data set for this is on the Hugging Face Hub. Again, all links will be in the video description. And this is an interesting data set. It's got a uh, murder mystery questions, object placements. So uh, answering questions on, hey, uh, here's a whole story. Where's the, where do you think the object is? And team allocation, right? So um, yeah, so you've got rather long stories, thousands of tokens for sure. And then you have a question. And in this case, given the story, how would you uniquely allocate each person to make sure both tasks are accomplished efficiently and then you have a whole bunch of options okay so you pass all of that to the model and this is the correct answer right so let's try one of those and just for simplicity I've prepared the whole prompt let me copy paste this thing right um, and here we go Okay, so let's try this. I'll create a multi-line prompt. Okay. So here we have a story about uh, folks working at an art gallery, three people, Patricia, Matthew, Rebecca. Obviously, each one of them has a different personality, different skills, and we wanna know uh, who should be creating art and who should be selling art. Okay, so obviously, obviously different combinations. Okay, let's try this. So first, obviously, we need to understand the context. We need to work the embedding magic 
on that longer prompt and start answering. So the most efficient allocation would be Rebecca creating art and Matthew and Patricia selling art. And this is actually the correct answer. So you'll have to, uh, you'll have to trust me on this one. Uh, it is in the data set, but oh, I think it's this one. Yes. <laughs> so you don't have to trust me, right? Creating art, Rebecca selling art, Matthew and Patricia. So the model got it right. Um, and what's more interesting and more important is that obviously the model explains why it thinks that, right? So while Matthew is forgetful and not very successful at selling, his jovial character could still make him an approachable salesperson, right? Patricia's frankness about true value can also aid in selling, compensating for a lack of interest in socializing. Rebecca, with her meticulous art creation skills, but lacking in selling, would be best placed to focus solely on creating high quality art pieces. Okay, so um, so that's not just, uh, you know, just the, the, the answer and nothing else. It's, it's also extra information on, you know, why uh, the, the model came to, uh, to that conclusion based on the information it was given. So this is pretty cool. And uh, well, you could see, you know, the, uh, it is again a large model and the speed is, uh, is more than adequate on, um, on this local machine, right? So uh, why would anybody use ChatGPT after this is, is beyond me. But hey, maybe I'm missing something. All right. Uh, well, I guess that's really what I wanted to show you on, uh, on this new cool model. It's called RC Nova. Uh, you can find it on the Hugging Face Hub. And it was built uh, using the RC Cloud platform. And if you're curious about that, uh, then please go and visit uh, the RC website. And, uh, and you can learn all about model merging and continuous pre-training and how you can do the same uh, with your own models on your own domains. Okay, well, that's it for now, but there's much, much more coming. We'll start diving into the, the RC platform in the next videos, okay? So I'll show you how you can do all of this yourself. Until then, my friends, keep rocking.